Hello and welcome to the Mazda Car Challenge here today at Watkins Glen. We're doing the cup layout, that's pretty interesting. And uh, we are the number six behind uh, one, I don't know what that is. That's a solstice that showed up for some reason. And uh, two Mustangs and two Jettas are on the Mazda track today. I don't know what they're doing here, but uh, I guess we'll have to call it the production car challenge if we're going to have more than Mazdas. I mean, that just makes sense. So we're going to head out here. Uh, I'm not going to bother changing fuel just because whatever <laughs> and do some qualifying. I really like Watkins Glen, Glen, <clears throat> excuse me, and I really like the Mazda. However, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this race, because I feel like this track's just a bit too big for this car, and I don't think the cup layout's going to do it any favors either, so um, I'm a little concerned that we're going to have some really dumb bl like blocking and, you know, guys being way too aggressive because they caught up due to draft and they're like oh I, I gotta pass now I'll never have an op another opportunity in my life you know how it goes so hopefully we'll be okay but uh, expecting the worst and if the worst doesn't happen green flag, then green flag. we moved upward I guess Anyway, okay, lap one, first one that counts here. Got my Majors Garage set up here, and doing just fine. Taking it a little easy on the first lap, I guess, because that was pretty easy into turn one. Wasn't exactly the plan, but it'd be nice to just get a solid lap in before I start pushing the envelope, I guess. So, shift into fifth here. Go. We have a nice bus stop. Can easily push harder there, but like I said, just trying to get a solid lap in first. All right. So far, so good. Nice and smooth. About three and a half tenths off my all-time best, which I just set right beforehand here because I guess I haven't done this. Uh, probably just haven't done this done this configuration before with the Mazda. Used up the whole course there. Almost used up too much course, but that is lap one. And now we could fall back on that if something it's goes wrong here was in lap two. And I think most likely the thing that's going to go wrong is I push too wide somewhere and get an off track and invalidate the lap. That's probably if something's going to go wrong, that's what goes wrong. Maybe we have some lingering pulled tire effects and I get slidey or something, but... Um, maybe it'll happen here in the, in the bus stop, trying to push as hard as I can. We might find ourselves with a 1x. Hopefully not. We'll try to avoid it. Okay, good enough. It's pretty hard through here. You can use this runoff, so I will. So I turn the wheel less. Almost hints of doing super speedway qualifying here, like not turning the wheel. I think I've heard Nick refer to Watkins Glen as the super speedway of road courses for a lot of cars, and I know what he means. I think we're going to miss out on all-time best, or maybe tie it. <laughs> It's maybe barely a little bit slower than my time best. Maybe tight it. It's like I either tight it or beat it, so that's about as good as I could hope for, I guess. Not gonna matter too much, cause 
draft. My least favorite thing in racing, probably. I don't think I've ever... I don't think a race has ever been improved by having draft change my mind. <laughs> it's not like we can turn off physics and air resistance and everything <laughs> in real life. So it's kind of like saying the worst part about racing is racing. So that's kind of silly to say, but I think draft all that ever does is make someone that's slower catch someone that's faster and encourages bad things to happen. <laughs> but look at me getting upset about air. Darn you, air. Get your air out of here. One thing at least we won't have to worry about is our, uh, hopefully not anyway, our Mustangs being slow because there's so much straightaway that you would really think we shouldn't be able to catch the Mustangs at all. It shouldn't even be close. Like, look, three seconds faster for the two leaders right there. So you would hope that we wouldn't be seeing any Mustangs unless they do eventually catch us. I guess we'll just have to see, won't we? Let's do on a couple more laps here in case we have to wait the full time so I don't have to just stare at a blank screen, boring little screen, and get a little bit of practice in. Sounds like a good idea to me. Maybe try to improve this bus stop because that's going to be a very crucial spot on the track, believe it or not. Push a little bit harder than that. Didn't push it quite hard enough. Where are planes? Is he asking where am I in the planes region? Or does he want to know where planes are? I'm going to guess, based on where he is from, what he means. He's from Australia, so he's probably asking where is it? States? Surrey, to be specific. So I'm assuming he might be asking where planes is in general, because if you're not from the U.S., you might not know what on earth they're talking about. How to drive MX-5. That guy missed Google. Um, man, I was... Understandable. <laughs> It's pretty vague. <laughs> Have a good. That's the end of the session, P3. Yep. All right, so we got fuel in it because we didn't take it out. We ended up qualifying third of the Mazda, so hopefully we'll have a good run here. Fifth ranked of Mazdas, so I feel pretty good about starting there. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the right side. Close. Pit road is closed. Oh, you. We got goofsters. We've got... I don't know. Rapscallions. I don't know. What else? What other weird old-timey <laughs> term? Got some tomfoolery going on could say that. Maybe we can learn something from the one. They are apparently the fastest of the Mazdas and the fastest of the I ratings in here. So I don't know what else I could really do except maybe be more aggressive through the bus stop. Probably kind of hit the line perfect on the carousel. I mean, obviously there's little things I can do like that all throughout the track, but there's no, like, big braking zones or anything, except maybe, you know, get turn one. Pretty heavy braking zone. 
This is going to be an interesting race. Like I said, it's, uh, I think it could get pretty scary just because of draft and everything. Guys going 28 wide. So I'm going to be patient, assuming I'm going to see a bunch of that and let guys run into each other and then maybe start trying to go somewhere. I don't know. I'm going to have to just try to feel it out here and hopefully have the chance and be given the chance the track temp to survive long enough. The air temp is we'll see if we are permitted that luxury. Because if someone blasts me from behind it, uh, light Follow speed times two, zero. we are uh, not going to have much of a choice. Guess uh, we're not leaving space to the Mustangs. Don't really think we need to. We got people apologizing already. I don't even know how it's even possible. You can. <laughs> how you can. Yeah, be happy if I could leave a bit of a gap. How something could even go wrong already. You could break much later than we can. That's an interesting one. get the brakes up to temp. I don't know if it matters in this car, but if it does, that'll be up to temp. I really should sometime just find out exactly which cars, like, getting the brakes up to temp matters and which ones doesn't. Next-gen car is the only one I know for sure does, because I've heard Nick talk about it. Nick Neben. And I think it's, like, it's more like a lot of the newer cars brought into iRacing it matters, but a lot of the older ones, they're always at optimal temp. And so that would make me think that maybe these cars probably don't, it doesn't matter, but who really even knows? I got lots of time to think about it, so. Might as well do it. We've got plenty of pace left. I'm not sure if we're going to be want wanting to be in first or second gear. I don't know how fast we're going to be going when we actually get started here. We ended up leaving a little bit of space to the Mustangs, but... As mentioned, it's not really going to matter too much. I mean, I guess a little bit of room in case they just completely crash in turn one. Might be nice. But not as big a deal as, uh, as it could be in other tracks. Looks like first gear. Get ready, going green. Okay, in front of us is the control car. And he's going. Go, go, go. Going green, green. Okay. Car on your left. Alright. Really not trying to do anything crazy right now. Still there. Clear on the left. Idiot. Someone ran into an issue. <laughs> it would very much seem. They are three wide behind, so that's something. Not surprised, just disappointed. Oops. I'm trying to go through here easy, it kind of throws me off my rhythm a little bit. A little bit. But I'd love to get some space behind. We got about a second. If we can break away from. Those guys, that would be pretty nifty. They're still getting up to temp, so it's not turning quite as well as I would want. Fine. That guy's less fine. See him heading for that wall. I wonder if he knocked anything out of alignment there. Didn't seem like too huge a hit, but it doesn't take all too much either. A little concerned the one seems to be walking away just a tiny bit, but 
Going side by side here is not going to do any good. So I'm going to stay behind him. I want to send that message early, so hopefully he follows that lead. If he ever ends up in a similar spot, I hope that he gets the idea that we are looking to be patient. He almost killed that wall. He is not being patient, I don't think, because he took that about as aggressive as you possibly can without torpedoing into the barrier. So, at least in terms of how he attacked the, the, the bus stop, he's certainly not being patient. But there are many ways to be patient, I guess. One way I have to be patient is to be off the gas for him as he took a bad corner, I guess. I don't want to stick behind him forever if he's not going to be all that fast, but... Oh. Weird angle. It's gonna be an off track for him, I think, or if it wasn't, it was really close. Ping behind him again. He doesn't get it. He's doing defensive line. I tried to tell him. I tried to tell him I wasn't trying to fight him, but at least he gave up on the defensive line and took the corner like All right, Colton. a normal Keep person. No mistakes. Just trying to keep the guys behind, but it looks like they're coming anyway. Whether we like it or not, so... Going wide. He's gonna clock the wall again. He gets darn close. Sorry, man. I think that's one mistake too many. I'm gonna have to go on your inside here, buddy. Left side. Clear on the left. I guess not. He's gonna drive in really hard. He's gonna incident out if he's gonna do that every lap. Let's back out. Just catch people on the front number two. Clear on the right. Oh, of course not. Go ahead, buddy. Try to go about it a different way then, maybe. I don't know how to take that up in which gear. <laughs> Not really sure, to be honest with you. It's gonna mess up that corner yet again. I'm really gonna need you to resist. Please. It looked like he was going to back out, but then he didn't, so kind of defeats the point of backing out if you're still going <laughs> to make me have to take the corner as if you're beside me. So we'll see if we get run over by the, th by the three on the straightaway, or if he's going to repay my favor and not try to pass like was originally the plan. Alternatively, he could just kill me into the chicane here. Bus stop, I don't know the difference. I'm right, good. Hit that pretty well there, I'm happy with that. So, we got past him, very happy. Because he was holding us up a bit. And now he can go have fun with uh, those guys that are catching up. <laughs> Thank you. 
see, I just, I don't know if I want to go into third or fourth there. I don't know. It feels like every time I try one or the other, I start thinking like, oh, I think I should have been in third that time, or I should have been in fourth. Like, I don't know. It's, it's tricky. A little wide there. Still okay. So I've demonstrated to the three. But it does seem like I have better pace. I don't think he's gonna catch me though. I was gonna, I was gonna say like, will he just try to pass immediately? But it looks like he's not even gonna have the option. It's more than fine with me. The gap in front is now 1.6. These guys up up here are pretty fast gonna be a tough task catching these guys. Just did a number three there. I did do a number three there because I had to lift off and hit it, but he also did that a couple times, so that wasn't very smooth. Somehow we caught up to the 8. I don't know how I even did that. They must have had a worse corner than I did at some point. I didn't. We just almost hit Sir Gannon on them. I don't know how it happened. That's nice. We'll uh, get that draft all the way down what I guess you would call the back stretch, right? We have a nice bus stop. Bus is here to pick up the kids for school. It was a little late because it was slow. <laughs> Wasn't the worst though. Hey, lap traffic. Everybody's favorite. Yes, just change lanes. That's probably a good idea though. Be out of the dominant lane. Gonna get out of our way. He will. Car on. Thank you, Twenty. Clear. That last lap was at one twenty-four. Thank you. These good lap cars are appreciated. Just trying to slowly catch on up to the number eight. Number one's very fast. Even with the draft, the eight isn't able to keep up with them. We're barely able to uh, keep up with the, with the eight. So much better uh, bus stop that time compared to last lap. I feel. In fact, I think I'm gonna have to switch my delta bar because it's not logging my all-time best because of race conditions, so, uh, session best lap, that'll count, there we go, we'll do that. Oh, the one goes very wide there, curious, I hit the brakes pretty hard there for some reason, Aiden has a bad corner though. So, some imperfections from those ahead of us that presents potential windows of opportunity I'm all about that I'm not gonna try to pass the eight into the bus stop everybody knows that when a bus school bus is stopped you do not overtake it how many stupid jokes can I fit into one video 
So, this will indicate to him that we are not intending to pass. He overdrives it like crazy. But he pulls it together, so. Ram. Let's go catch this leader. What do you say, number eight? What say you? We're halfway home. We're okay on fuel. Halfway, he said, so yes. Yeah, Twelve and a half minutes. That's halfway, I believe. Been smooth so far. It's been pretty good race. Don't wait too long. Find that gap. I hope he knows that I'm not trying to pass, so he doesn't try to do a dumb defensive line or anything. He's an okay butts bus stop. <laughs> butt stop. I said butt stop. That's really funny. I better get a hundred thousand subscribers for saying butt stop. I want that on my desk tomorrow morning. There you go, I snuck in another school reference for you. It wasn't a school bus reference, but it was adjacent. I got no idea, mate. I'm just sending it. <laughs> Why not, Sam? Why not? I've just heard the crew chief come over and say that, uh, say that we might not make it. Oh, well. We'll have to go see the old pit stop. Trusting this 8 to be able to catch the woman with the draft. So far, we've been holding even, but I think we're going to catch up quite a bit yeah, I gotta here. Yeah, got to All I know is I have my sights set on first, not second. So we're not gonna fight him. We are going to work with him. Hopefully reach greater heights. Eight is by no means slow anyway, so it's not like I'm being held back by him or anything. I don't think. The one is obviously quite fast. We're gonna need to work together you to make this happen. Time, or are you just running um, I've got... I uh, just changed the camber and that was it, I think. I did that ages ago, like last year. I'm gonna say, I'm not sure what it is, but you're so quick in a straight line, even out of draft. I didn't even notice that yeah, the no uh, three seems to be catching us. I just used whatever was um, on the car. I remember that guy. No, no, they're using fifth down that back straight, because I, I want to do it, but then they can't bother. We are slowly yeah, getting closer. Yeah, I got that chicane, that's it. Otherwise, I'd have stayed four. It's a bus stop. Yeah, I made a player out with sort of what gears I'm using at certain points, but I feel like I'm wasting a lot. I don't know much about this car, I just like it. Hmm. Sounds great, that's the only reason why I drive it. I might have to try to pass him. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet car and like the brakes glow as well. Hold me back just a little. Speaking of holding us back, 
bad no, no, solstice position. <laughs> and it's about to reach them. Yeah, no grip, lots of The one had a bad bus stop. Looks like maybe they were weirdly uh, offline, but I didn't quite get a good view of it. I was kind of all over the. <laughs> it's everybody. Right it's time. Clear on the right. Good work, mate. Keep it up. As a, uh, been a pleasure doing business with you, Make them do the work. but I have other business elsewhere, and hopefully it's not caught in the catch fence or something, <laughs> or all of a sudden being really slow and finding out that the 8 was actually faster than me and embarrassing myself by even trying to pass. Have to have a little bit of confidence to say, hey, it's my turn to try. But, uh, time is taken. I hope he will repay the favor by not being a crazy dude behind us. The lead is bidding now. <laughs> I was really confused for a second because I was looking at the leader, not pitting. But it's oh, I've been there. I've oh, bloody got a speeding ticket. No, man, I was looking forward to seeing how that play out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how that play out. Could have been blowing break. Cut it a little low there. They're gonna go. Almost got all sideways. Right side. So it looks like it was probably a good decision. I don't know, but I have to go ahead and overtake the eight. Tenths off the pace in sector one. Sector two time is okay. Sector three time is quick. Five minutes to go. You're looking good for a podium. Looks like they might be side by side behind us. Not gonna make the pass immediately, even if we catch him right now, because this is not the place to do it. Mm. I'll stop. It's tough enough alone. <laughs> Don't need going side by side. Make things worse. And what a great track, though. I love Watkins Glen. This isn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be with the draft, because it seems like uh, you can still gain enough time through places like the bus stop that you can separate yourself a bit. Three and a half minutes. Okay, Colton, we're matching the, race pace. The most time in the world. Oh, my first 1x. Just barely just one overdid it. I'm pushing a little harder now, so that's gonna happen. Come on, just send it. Probably very confusing. 
for the old leader there. But uh, I changed my mind. I was going to try to pass. Then I decided, no, not so much. Not a great idea. Push is a little wide there. Got ten minutes of fuel remaining. Left side. Stay on the right. Stay on the right. Push, push, push. Don't push him off track. Keep to the right. Give him plenty of room. Clear. Lay by the start finish now. See if he just tries to immediately overtake. He's gonna bump draft. I can let you buy in the start finish here, it's obviously quicker. I'm up to the other night, I'm gonna down anyway. Car right. Keep to the left. Clear. Car right. That got Clear. sideways. Car right. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Stay on the left. Helping me with the uh, fuel consumption. Still there. Ah, yeah, because some idiot right. recommended right. 19 meters. Still there, hold your line. <laughs> yeah, hey, back out. Keep to the left. Mm, You're this on is the getting left. ugly. I have not handled this very well, to be honest. Still hold. You're in first. Can't trust the colonies, man. Just don't know. Hold your line. Three, four. Car right. Two wide. Keep to the left. Yeah, I'm not uh, even sure. I thought I could do that without getting the one <laughs> X. I tried. It's like having a little brother. Right there. there. Still there. Still your little brother. Still there, hold your line. Stay on the left. I mean, the only thing you've got to give us is a rock and a spiky building, right? Clear on the right. Okay. And base and base. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. Get a dick inside of that. We have about five laps of fuel left. Oh, yeah, we do that, yeah. I got a 1x there. The weather's a little bit nicer as well. Hope I didn't pinch up too much. Oh, That's yeah, mate, yeah. Not easy to do. There in, in London, no way. Keep it within the track limits. What am I doing? One more left to go. Falling if apart. It's quite 15 degrees, I'm not coming. Stay on the left. Summer here. Keep to the left. Last lap. You always have a slap off big spiders as well, so it's a bit of a big game. Stay on the left. I wouldn't be too worried about the spiders. Okay. It's alright. Just buy them back. Racing hard. Don't blame them for that. I would be more worried about the bloody cassowaries. Cassowaries are like velociraptors. What are they talking about? They've been talking a while and I've been tuning them out. They're like talking about Velociraptors or something. Like, having an intense race here and they're like having chats about Velociraptors. I heard Velociraptors. Yeah, exactly. You're on the left. Three one. Cassowary. That's two minutes left. I need a giggle this year. Car on your left. Dead. Clear on the left. The most terrifying bird you've ever seen. Come on, that's the stuff. Stupid. Then you're like, keep one. Why would you ever? Even try three wide there. So, have you got a guard dog now? I've got a guard cassowary. I need one of them. I don't feel bad for running him. You make it three wide there, you deserve what happens to you. Stay on the left. Stay on the left. 
Good win. Sorry that got a little messy at the end there. I tried my best to keep my line. We're on the podium. Good drive. There's the flag. Yeah. It's over. Alright. <laughs> Great job. You did really well. Ooh. I saw it looked like a peacock. I'm not gonna lie. He said I was good. I'm not sure if everyone feels the same way, but. <laughs> yeah, that didn't look scary, but it's more about what I uh, just, just, just sort here. of read about him a little bit. Come up here, park. Well, uh, my also, so I can point this out. That I hate that. Make that go away. So yeah, that the whole race and didn't say anything about it. <laughs> that weird grass spot. They like stop. literally swam. So that got really messy at the end there. Eight X. I hate that. No, I actually do. I mean, we've all done it, right? But and that was just going for uh, yeah, it. Yeah, I, I did have to pit. That was just going for it. Uh, I could have done so much better than that. There's so many things I wish I could do differently. But we still got second of the Mazdas. Third overall, because I think that 1500 fueled or something. Because they had the pit. I don't know what that was, actually, but oh, maybe... I have no idea. But, uh, I have regrets, <laughs> but we still got P2. And, uh, it was, it was fun. It was certainly fun. Man, I have so much regrets. So there are so many things I could have done differently. There was one point, I didn't even mention it at the time, but there was one point where, uh, I thought I shifted into fifth and then didn't. It was slow on the back stretch. I imagine some people probably saw that. Like, what are you doing? I noticed, but there was a lot to think about, all right? Give me a break. <laughs> anyway, incidents so far, nothing too crazy. Like just some bumping. A little bit of wall on exit there. Oh, that's the number three. So it's just gonna get in the wall. Here's your leader and eventual winner. That's just showing them hitting the uh, bus step hard. Oh, maybe that off track is what it's trying to show. Uh, I hate how many X's I ended up with because I was doing so well. Red Bull being Red Bull, uh, taking out that guy. I was doing so well. I only had I had zero X until the closing lap started coming in, and then I had the one off track, and it was downhill from there. <laughs> just as soon as I started pushing the limits real hard. Honestly, I started driving worse too, so I should have just stayed within myself. We don't see too much of the just going in through the curves real hard. We hit that wall on exit a couple times. Ooh. I mean, they looked like they were doing okay, and I think maybe a little neck could make that not work. Hmm. I assume 16 hit that wall and then got unsettled. That's how that turned out. I'm going to be a little quicker here, because usually there's a whole lot of incidents in these races, and looks like a lot of these are single-car dealios, so I won't need to see all that. These are always going to be the real interesting ones, though, when you got people approaching the bus stop behind someone. Solstice spins all by their lonesome. Team tries to take too much on entry. Well, we're on lap 19 already. All right, that actually went by pretty quick. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so you know what? I am just gonna watch from my perspective the last few laps because that's probably where all the incidents are anyway. So this is lap 18. Um, how many laps did we end up doing? 19. So I'm coming to the white flag here. Oh yeah, I had the lead at one point and I tossed it away. You dang loser. I, I just overdrove this. There's no excuse for that. Just overdrove it. I thought, I can get extra speed by getting it on sooner and using the runoff, but then it ruined my entry to this corner, and then... No. All bad. Uh, and then he gets alongside me. I try to outbreak him, 
And I am still alongside him. Mm. Yeah, I could have used more curb, I guess. That's just tough racing, but that was nothing. I don't, I don't feel any certain way about that. That's just e using every inch of the track one-on-one -on -one here in this battle. I think about cutting him off there, and I'm like, he's not going to live for me, so I'm going to do that and just get the inside here. <laughs> Fortunately, that gave him draft, heading through here. I was going to try to box him in so he couldn't make it three wide, but then the uh, number one decided to go defensive. And I wanted if I wanted to be uh, maximizing my entry. And so here we are, three wide on the last lap, going into the final chicane. Is it going to work? Of course not. But uh, I did not expect him to blow that corner like he did. thought he would be able to keep alongside him at least. And so I was driving into the corner as if he were going to be like here and not like locking up the brakes or whatever he's doing. So don't expect him to be there. Unfortunately, get into the back of him. But, uh, hey, you, you made it three wide. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. So one is able to pull off. Great driving. Number one, very, very talented. Uh, to be clear, <laughs> he uh, did what he needed to do. And honestly, for going three wide, final lap, <laughs> into, the, into the bus stop, I probably is about the best it could have gone in terms of not everyone exploding into a big fireball this guy's probably licking his chops like man these guys are going three wide I'm about to win this race but not so fast <laughs> we survived what happened to him? what are you in it back there? did he? Oh no! Are you kidding me? If I'm not mistaken, this little baby, tiny itty bitty tap by the eight registered as a 4x and it put him over the 18x limit before you get disqualified. That really stinks. I am so sorry, 13. That is not even fair, because there's no reason that should even be a 4x. And that was a pretty darn good run for the 13. I see you, though. You put yourself in the spot. You were in the top 5, top 4 of the Mazdas there at the end. I see you. It did go unnoticed. You had a great run. That stinks. That should not have been a 4x. That's, that's, a, that's bump drafting. I wonder if the ape felt bad about that or even knows exactly what happened because where earth did he go? <laughs> so and then uh, I try and catch him back up. I think maybe I could say like, oh, maybe I was a little bit faster, but I don't know about that. It's hard to tell when you've got draft helping you catch up and I think you know, some corners he was better than I was. Some corners I caught up to him a little bit. So, you know what? It was just a good race. It was a great race. It was a fantastic race. I'll upgrade it even more. <laughs> Very fun. So, much better than I expected. I thought it was going to be awful draft nonsense. And it was pretty good. So, we got ourselves the podium. Um, silver metal, metal or bronze, depending on how you look at it silver of our class and uh congrats to the one it was very uh well run race so very fun i hope you enjoyed watching and uh i hope to see you again soon in the next one have a good rest of your day see you.